Hi, I'm Tom Craven, and I'm going to show you how to use Lightroom presets. So let's get into the video. So within Lightroom, you can use presets. Uh, these are basically a bunch of settings that you've already set up that then will apply to the every image that you put it on. Uh, so then if you've got the same lighting or similar lighting, you can put the same edit on all of the photos. It's a really quick way of being able to edit loads of photos in one go. And it's how I edit my gigs. So I'm gonna show you how to make a preset and then actually, and when you would actually use it. So here we go, we've got photo of Newton Faulkner. Uh, I'm just gonna do a quick little edit on it, on the photo. So, ooh. push them up a little bit. Gonna have to do this a bit quicker, a bit quicker. Um, drag that a little bit, there we go. And then a little bit of vibrance. Uh, probably gonna put yeah, just a little S curve in. So what I'm doing here is I'm doing what are called global settings. So you just need to edit only the global settings, so things that affect the entire image. That's everything in basic, tone curve, HSL, split toning, all of them except uh, transform and then any of the uh, brushes that you can use. So the radial filter, the graduated filter, the spot healing brush, all of them we can't touch in a preset because you can't guarantee that the sky is going to be in the same place or there's going to be um, a blemish that you want to remove in the same place. So it's only things that are going to affect the entire image. So here we go, still going in tone curve. Um, just, yeah, there we go, I'll be fine. So that's just a quick little edit. There's not very much to it. Um, and what we're now going to do is we're going to create a preset out of this. So you go over to presets and then click this little plus here and then it's going to come up with create preset. Click on that, I'm going to call it whatever we want. Newton Faulkner, because it's the similar lighting throughout. Helps if I could spell. And then where are we going to put it? I'm going to put it in, uh, I'm going to put it in a new group. I'm going to select all of the options other than a white balance. And then we're going to turn off these graduated filters and radial filters. We're not selecting white balance because that may have changed slightly between each photo. So we want to tweak that as we go just to make sure that that's on point. And then we don't want graduated filters or radial filters because we've not used them. And even if we have used them in this photo, we can't really copy them over to a new image and it work. So we're just going to deselect them, press create. There we go. And now it, it's over here. There we go. So if we now reset this image and we go back to the default, what we can do is we can just hover over here and you can see it's already affected the image to show you what it will be like. So it's a preview of it. And then you click on there and then that applies the preset here on the right hand side. So then it just saves you a ton of work doing this to every image. If there's, especially when you're at a gig and the lighting barely changes, especially on them. It's all right if the lighting behind changes, but if it doesn't change on them, then that's great. You can use presets all day long and it'll work fantastically. Another thing here is if you use a, a profile, so on here, it's actually Adobe Color. So if I go in here and I'm gonna change it to a camera neutral. So all that does is basically taking the flattest profile that I can out of that, that camera. Um, and I'm just gonna, then just tweak it a little bit. Okay, so, okay, that's fine. Um, the problem is this monitor actually isn't color calibrated. So the colors are on this one are wrong. And um, so I'm having to look at this one as a reference. The reason you might want to use a uh, camera neutral is as I say, it's the flattest profile you can I can get on my camera. On my new camera, it is called camera flat. Uh, and this just allows you to get the full range of tones in there. So now if we were to, if we wanted to update the preset that we've already made, what we can do is come over here and see where we've got Newton Falcon there. 
we're going to right click and then we go to update with current settings and then it'll come up with the options and see how we've already got treatment and profile selected so we will just keep that selected it'll now take the new camera neutral profile and apply that to all existing images. As I say, this allows you to edit photos really quickly in Lightroom. So if you've got a ton of images that are the same kind of lighting, you can just put your preset on because you find that you are doing the same kind of settings throughout. You might put a bit more contrast in there, take a bit of the highlights away, warm it up and all the rest of it. But if you can make it so that that process is already done for you, so at least then you've got a, a starting point to go from uh, to get it bang on. This is how I'm able to edit my images before the end of the show because I can just get them into Lightroom, put the preset on there, and then all it is is that I have to go in and tweak a, a few little things instead of the whole edit. I hope that helps some of you. If you've got any other little queries, just let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Bye.